rainbows and welcome back to another create a sim makeover video in this video we are going to be giving makeovers to our teenagers prince charles and princess bellatrix of windenburg and princess araminta and princess anya of glimmerbrook so a few days ago i had posted a poll on my community post asking which video you guys wanted to see this week since i needed to do something kind of easy since i'm still recovering from my wisdom teeth surgery and this was the most requested video so for those of you who voted for the other videos don't worry I'll make sure to have those videos out for you guys as well in the near future so I'll definitely work on those too because I know there was a lot of custom content videos with links that you guys wanted to see and how I do my royal family portrait poses and all of that so I'll definitely make sure to work on those but thank you guys also for those of you who were so sweet and giving me well wishes and all of that stuff for my wisdom to surgery everything went pretty well it's just taking a while like a little bit longer than I thought it would to recover so I had pre-recorded and planned to post my video on my mods that I use and also my royal family tree video and then I somehow deleted the footage for those so I had to figure something out that was somewhat easy because my episodes and like for the royal family tree video especially too it just takes a lot of energy and it's very exhausting to have that much energy in the videos and to get excited and to get you guys excited so definitely needed something where I could just casually talk a little bit so that's why something like this is perfect we already passed Prince Charles and it didn't take long to do his outfits at all as you guys could see I didn't spend much time on him I spent so much time on the girls for their outfits I just had so much stuff and it was so much fun to play around with the new custom content that I I had but yeah I mean for Charles it only took like a minute not even his outfits there weren't too many new outfits I did a few new ones one of his formal outfits is like a Prince Eric costume pretty much from the Little Mermaids and it looked really good on him but I was like you know what it's fine this will work so that's what I ended up picking for him but now we're on Bellatrix and for Bellatrix this hair is new custom content and it is on my Pinterest board all of my custom content is on my Pinterest board which is in the link in the description below so this is apparently like the mesh comes from the university pack so it just looks so good on Bellatrix and I love that her and Charles have a little bit more curly hair than the rest of their family so it looks just so so good on them but I for Bellatrix if you guys saw before now we're on her formal outfit but I was playing around with a lot of jumpsuits for her because I just feel like she would be someone who would wear a lot of jumpsuits and thank you to Sibra Erin who left in the comments of my last video just a ton of links to jumpsuits I downloaded all of them and they were so great and they just looked so so good on her I also wanted to avoid giving her one of Princess May's jumpsuits because I didn't think that she should be wearing one of Princess May's outfits so I thought that she's a little bit similar to Princess May in the sense that they're both free spirits but Bellatrix is materialistic which we learned in the last episode and May was not materialistic to me so they are definitely still different but Bellatrix is more active too but she's just a little bit more of a free spirit but in a different sense like she's just very independent and she goes for what she wants so she's a little bit different she looks so pretty and from what I could see before to now I do see Charles looks a lot like Henry, like so much like his father. I didn't think he did as much in the last episode, but now I saw it a little bit more once I was playing around with his outfits. And then with Bellatrix, she just looks so much like her mother, but also a mix between her mother and her father, which are just two gorgeous people. So she's so beautiful. So we're already on the royal family of Glimmerbrook now, but what I wanted to say about Bellatrix too is that I know that I said that her and Makana, they were kind of having a little bit of some crushes on each other as kids, but now Bellatrix is older. But someone had said in the comments that maybe Makana still has a crush on her, even though she's a teenager, which I think would just be so cute. So. 
Anyway, moving on to the Glimmerbrook royal family. So this is Princess Araminta. Their outfits are amazing. I love them so much. I tried to play around with a lot of the Glimmerbrook style outfits and then also more kind of Windenburg style outfits. So they have a mix between both of them and I tried to come up with two of the different styles for each category. So for their everyday formal party outfit, etc. But for Araminta, because she is the heir, so a lot of her outfits are much more fancier, which I'm sure her sister Anya doesn't love too much because for those of you who don't know, Anya and Araminta are complete opposites. Anya is super jealous and 100% wants to become the Empress of Glimmerbrook, but her sister is older than her by a few minutes and she just hates that so much. She's so jealous. She just wants whatever her sister has. Araminta, she's just so good and so kind and obviously she knows that her sister doesn't like her, but she kind of has just let it fly past her. Like it doesn't even bother her anymore. At first it did a lot because she didn't want her sister to hate her, but now she's just like, you know what? I don't think anything is ever gonna change. But for her, and I love this dress so much, it's huge. This ball gown is so big, but it looks so good on Araminta. So this was the kind of more Windenburg style outfit that I had picked for her, but it looks so beautiful on her. It's just huge. Like her hands go into the dress. So that's the only bad thing about it, but it looks amazing on her. That one's also on my Pinterest board too. This is all on my Pinterest board. But for their hair, so I found this creator, I think their name is Enrique Four, and I will put the link to them in the description below as well. But they have so many long hairstyles because I was looking for more long hairstyles and they have a ton of them. I actually ended up becoming a patron on their Patreon just so I could download all of them without ads and so I would have early access to any future hairstyles. But oh my God, it's beautiful. They look amazing. I love that, like this is one of the hairs and it's so pretty. They have so many different options and now I have a ton of new long hairstyles, which I love so much because I love long hair. So I just think it looks so good on them and it was so perfect for Araminta and Anya. In the next episode of The Royal Family, I will also be focusing more on the royal family of Glimmerbrook. Like they're going to be our main focus in the next episode because I know I had mentioned all of this stuff with them and I know that they are some of your guys' favorite kingdoms as well because I did a poll a while ago asking about that too. So I definitely wanna make sure that we focus on them. So we'll get to learn a little bit about what's going on with Mei Lin and Emperor Zhao, so the parents, and then of course, Araminta and Anya. Not so much focusing on Takashi just cause he's a kid and he doesn't have that much going on, but we'll get to focus on him in the future too. Takashi, their little brother, I mean, he it gets kind of overlooked a lot just because of his sisters. Like they're both so amazing in their own ways and complete opposites. So Takashi does kind of get overlooked a lot, but he's kind of fine with that. Like he's a little bit more quiet. He's kind of like Prince Kellen in a sense, but so yeah, that's their brother. But now we're on Princess Anya. So for her outfits, I try to make hers a little bit more edgy. And for Araminta, I picked a lot of red. For Anya, I did do a lot of red too, but also some more blue because she was wearing blue a lot when she was a kid also. So this one, I mean, that's neither red or blue, but this looked so good and so edgy. Actually, this is what Victoria in my Dynasty series wears. So it just looked good on Anya though. But yeah, I try to make a lot more edgy outfits for her. Anya is so interesting. And I think at some point I might just replace the mean trait with the evil trait because she's not quite at the evil level yet, but I feel like she will be. I think that she is evil. She's jealous. She's turning evil, but I guess I guess she could be evil at a pretty young age too. But yeah, I guess we'll just think of Anya as being pretty evil. A lot of people were saying too that they think Anya and Prince Cornelius of Willow Creek, that they would be good together and that it would make sense if Anya went after him because he is the heir to the throne. She's older than he is, but I don't really think that matters too much, but Cornelius and Anya, they're, okay, so Cornelius's mother is Corinne, who was in my Realm of Magic series, who is staying at the Glimmerbrook Palace. So she actually knows Anya pretty well because she was staying at their palace for so long. And also, I mean, Anya was a kid, but she still got to know her pretty well. So she knows Anya's not very nice. Like Anya tried to be nice to Corinne because she knows that at the time, that Corinne was the future queen of Willow Creek, but I think that Corinne still overheard Anya being mean to Araminta 
like her sister. So I don't really know how Corinne feels about Anya, if she likes Anya all that much and if she would want Anya to be her daughter-in-law. So we'll have to see how that goes, but that could be really, really interesting. I think that Corinne is definitely in debt to Anya's parents, Temper Zhao, for helping find her family, but I'm not exactly sure how she feels about Anya yet. So we'll have to definitely see about that. You guys definitely let me know what you think of all of their outfits and what you think of each of them. I think each of them are so unique in their own way. I think Charles reminds me a lot of his father, but I think as far as Bellatrix, Anya, and Araminta goes, they are all so unique. They have all their own style, their own personality that's so different, and I love them so much, and I love the outfits that we ended up going with them too. But this is almost over, so I will be posting some screenshots for you guys to see too. But thank you guys again for your patience with my videos and for the videos that I have said that I am working on that have just been taking a really long time. Thank you for your patience with that as well. As you guys know, I have a very busy schedule, but we will be moving to LA this summer. So I'm hoping by then I'll be able to work from home and be able to get more videos out for you guys and more content and just work even harder on creating the best content that I can for you all. Sorry that I'm talking so slow and a little bit like eh today, but thank you guys again for your patience with my surgery. I appreciate it. So don't forget to leave a comment below on who your favorite out of the four is. And don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. If you have not already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.